What's up? What's up? What's up? What's everybody up to? What's happening? My name is Dan. This is Neil Mustangs. This is my weekly Mustang live stream. Wait for it to populate a little bit. What's going on? What's good? Bill Pace. What's up? GSF 420. Happy Easter to everybody. Glad you guys could join me this evening. I appreciate you guys uh, taking the time to join me this weekend. Um, you know, <laughs> just like most of my Easter time, it's like, you know, most of the Easter stuff is done during the day and during the afternoon. So, you know, it was, uh, I had a, real, had a real good weekend with my fam. So anyways, uh, let's get into business here. We will talk about... What's up, 650? Good to see you, my man. Mike B. Um, let's give a little bit of, uh, do a little bit of homework. Uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, Handle Motorsports for sponsoring the channel. And uh, big shout out to Donnie B at Anderson Ford Motorsports and Trick Flow, Mosier, and <laughs> TI Dino, Twisted Innovations over there, my dino guys. So um, anyways, uh, if you guys are curious um, about what we're going to be doing with, uh, with, with dad's car, stick around. We got some, uh, some dyno stuff going on, um, as we speak. And we also have plans for pretty much all three of my cars, um, including the, but not limited to the, uh, the last video, the last video, let's talk about that real quick. Last, uh, <clears throat> what's up, super, look at all the green guys right there. Look at that. All the guys in green right there to my club members, man. I appreciate you guys not only for supporting the channel, but to come out to uh, come out to the, uh, you know, the the each and every week. I see you guys, the same guys, man. Big shout out to you guys, you know, supporting the channel and you know being part of the live streams, man. Asking good questions and talking, or whatever. Mustang guy six five zero one. What's going on? Eighty nine GT five zero. Good to see you. You guys wonder why there's green uh, names? It's the join button below, or the monetization tab. You can hit it. You know, whatever. If you're on whatever. Uh, it's club membership you got going on, so I do appreciate. I, I always have to shout that out first because I mean the club members are you know big on my channel and we do some cool stuff. We talk about some cool stuff. Anyway, um, we uh last week we did a video uh, rescue fox. Uh, rescue fox was like a like last minute video. It actually ended up being a really good video that went nowhere. Uh, you know, like it didn't get very much traction at all, and I was actually really surprised, but. Um, you know, there's a lot of good content out there on, uh, on, on YouTube. So, um, you know, you, you, you only hope when you put a video up that it gets some good traction and, you know, sometimes they don't, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, it is what it is, but, uh, rescue Fox is pretty cool. Um, make, make sure you guys hit that like button, come on in. That always helps with the, with the channel. Um, it helps with the analytic, but anyways, uh, rescue Fox was a different car. I mean, I didn't, I, you know, I don't normally bring a Fox body in and, you know, spend money on its frame or, or repairing its, you know, floor pans or whatever, but something about that car, you know, kind of, kind of nudged me to hang on a minute. You know what I mean? It's like, I got that convertible, that real bad piece convertible that I brought in. And then I got that one right after it. I'm like, it's kind of like, kind of telling me something. So what's up, Lewis? What's up? Superfly garage. It's good to see everybody. So anyway, we are here today, you know, I like to do a live stream with at least a topic. Um, and I do talk fast. I do talk a lot. So, um, you know, I, I, I'm going to, I'm going to be reaching out to you guys. We're going to, you know, I always like to get you guys involved too. We just, we just get to chatting. We start coming up with ideas. Um, you know, the main time, the main chat, the main topic of the evening is back orders and sold out and temporary out of stock. And I'm just going to tell you that it sucks. It sucks for all of us, um, including myself. I, I actually put my black car, my white car away last year running and running well. And I said I wasn't going to touch them this year, this this past winter. And I focused on dad's car a little bit, which we did pretty well with, right? But, you know, there's so many back orders, not just in the business side of, of what's going on with Neo Mustangs, but man, even my YouTube cars, you know, my white car is on a back order for a, a turbo housing. And so is it my black car. And they promised me that like a month ago. And it's like, I don't even want to race my cars because I know that they're just, you know, it's just not going to, it's just going to be the same thing I did last year. You know, I mean, I want to, I want to progress. And it's just like, it's holding up my progression as a Fox body enthusiast. You know what I mean? Like 
Um, I think, you know, the, I think the, the slicks, we had a problem with slicks last year, if you remember, and they're still on back order, I think. Um, my 28s, I had to buy my 28s six months early because, like, if I didn't get them in October, November of last year, I didn't know when I was going to get them. And, you know, I got to have fresh slicks every two years. I don't make that many passes at the track, but, you know, I, I like to keep my, my slicks fresh. You know what I mean? I like to flip them. But let me get into some chat here, and then we'll continue talking. I want tonight, I want you guys to, 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 to just blow the chat up with, you know, what you have on back order. Uh, maybe some experiences that you're dealing with back orders and, and, and even in comments, if you guys watch this afterwards, I mean, it's a pretty, it's a pretty cool thumbnail that I made. If you got, if you're on a back order for something that's holding your Fox body up, I want to hear about it. I want to talk about it tonight. <clears throat> like Tim Healy, mine has been in the shop for five months due to part shortages in a horrible transmission shop. I'm going to sell it as soon as it's done and move into the move out of the country. <laughs> All right, so let's try to keep it. Let's try to keep the politics out of it. We all know that there's a supply chain problem. Let's just, you know, I'd like to hear some of your guys' back order issues, and I'll share some more of mine. Like I said, uh, my back order issue right now is with Precision Turbo, and I also have a back order issue with Tremec with our rebuild kits, and it's just, it's, it's killing me. It's killing me. It's just, I'm trying to progress, and it's hit me on the YouTube side. It's hit me on the you know the uh the business side this is terrible uh let's see carlos rivera my part's been on back order for two and a half months what parts you guys got so if you're gonna chime in on chat i'm gonna put i'm gonna put uh like i want you to guys to be honest with me okay so be honest with chat i'm gonna put like the top 10 back orders up on my board here y'all i know y'all like this shit, so we're gonna go ahead and run it right um we're gonna put we're gonna put the top ten back orders up in here, and we're gonna we're gonna talk about them. <laughs> Waiting for two months on AFR two hundred five heads. Wow, AFR one sixty five heads three months. Aren't AFR heads out like a year now? Maximum Motorsports K member. Okay, you know this is gonna be a nice stream because you guys will be able to actually put this stuff in the chat. And people can actually read what is actually on back order and sold out or temporarily out of stock. <laughs> My money is on back order. That's a good one. <laughs> actually, I'm going to put that one right up on the list there, John, Jacob Starkey. <laughs> Number one, right there. <laughs> Fat Boy Fox, what up? What up? What up? It's good to see everybody. And then we're going to flip the script kind of towards the end. And we're going to talk about some of the things we can do. He said, his money on back order. <laughs> that's, that's, that's pretty cool, man. <laughs> Jacob Healy, right? Yeah, start. <laughs> I'm actually going to, I'm actually going to, um, if you guys do a, uh, if you do any super chat or I get any new members, I'm actually going to pin you. I think you can star it, and then I can bring it back up later in the chat. So I'm going to shout you out all, 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 all stream long. Uh, I've been waiting on AFR 205s. All right, so there's an AFR 205 number two. So we're going to go ahead and stick just AFR heads two-plus months. All right, I wanted to also mention that if you get the little circly, circly guy where I freeze, just – Give me 30 seconds. It's probably my stupid internet. As usual, you guys know we can't go one live stream without at least one of that happening. And if it gets fuzzy on the uh, on the uh, after that, just let me know and I'll reset the camera. So, what up, Dylan Switzer? What's up, Jason Fields? Good to see you, my man. My jet, my tax stands are on back order. Come on, dog. What what do you got your car sitting on? Cement blocks. <laughs> my whole fox is on back order right now. Not enough time to get anything done. Well. We talked about that, like we talked about that a couple months, a couple weeks ago, wasn't it? Time was number one, man. It was like the number one problem that we all had. I mentioned on Chris's channel a few vids. I'm not sure. I'm not going to get any better. Wait, I, I've mentioned this on Chris's channel. I'm not going to get any better anytime soon. People are starting to lose interest in their projects, sitting around too long, and that's what we're here to talk about. We're gonna flip the script a little bit later, Lloyd. 
So if you don't, you guys don't know who, who, who he's referring to, uh, Chris is the infamous project. Uh, he has a pretty, a pretty good little, uh, little channel on to come up and he's closing in on 10 grand. So, uh, subs. So make sure you guys, uh, go check him out. If you do not know his channel tip is a friend of mine. We talk on, on occasion on film on the phone. So appreciate you. Maximum motorsports clutch cable on back order for a month now. Really? Donnie B, what you got? What's on back order over at Anderson? Are you not allowed to? It's okay if you're not allowed to talk about it. But there's a whole, there's, there's, there's a couple things, ain't there? Springs being one of them. Trick flow, guys. Trick flow springs, man. My famous 2500, 100 spring kits that I always put on these GT40 and E7 TE heads. They told me end of May, bro. So I called up Donnie B and I bought like his, well, like last three kits. Shouldn't even be mentioning that. Hayden, the power uh, power pipe three and a half inch are going powder coating Tuesday. Okay. Waiting on trick flow heads. Have all the parts except the heads, <laughs> engines at machine shop. So many back orders. So many sold out things. Let me tell you what. It's just like, and, it, and it's bad too. It's like some of these shops, some of these places that you, that you buy from, right? They're like, you know, it shows that they're in stock or whatever. You see like the ships tomorrow tag or whatever the hell. And it's just like, you know, you get an email like three months later or, or like three days later, like, you know, hey, this is out of stock until August. And it's just like, are you serious? I wouldn't even spend my money if you would. I didn't do that. So I got I got some money out there on limbo with this stuff. War Admiral, I planned on a turbo swap this season, but I'm not messing with it till Precision is back on track. I feel that, uh, War Admiral. So War Admiral's got that pretty little coupe right there in that picture, which I'm pretty sure you guys could see pretty well, right? I think StreamYard brings up a big enough picture that you guys can see it pretty good. Anyways, um, he's got a nice uh, precision. Did you ever put a waste? Did you ever what, what wastegate did you put on that? Did you ever put one on your, your crossover? If I, if I remember correctly, vaguely. You didn't have a gate on it or you didn't have a, a spring in it or something. I don't remember. But, uh, yeah, that turbo, I was going to put, listen, that turbo that you got on there is a 7675. And you're in the same boat I am with my motor, my black car, my white car, is my housing's just too small. So what Precision actually did, War Admiral or Tom, uh, we they ended, up, uh, they ended up manufacturing larger housings for that turbo because that's a badass little turbo and they ended up making bigger housings for us to to make a little bit more power so we see one of the problems uh, with turbos guys is if your if your exhaust housing is is too small you'll get a lot of back pressure in the passenger and crossover pipes and if you get too much back pressure then you're just gonna you know hinder the 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 power that the actual turbo makes you see what I mean? So it'll you'll know when you're tuning because uh, you you just and superchargers has its own problems, but this is one of the turbo problems. You know you you know when you're tuning because like you're, you just keep throwing fuel at this thing with timing, and it's not making any more power. You see what I mean? So it's pretty much capping the turbo out on the you know the the, the exhaust side. So Jason Fields, man, I appreciate the super chat, guys. Uh, you know, everything that, you know, gets donated to the channel stays in the channel. And Jason Fields has always been one of my top donators on live stream, man. I appreciate you every week. I appreciate you just watching the channel with me, Jason. Halen, what up? What up? Happy Easter, bro. Happy Easter. So we are talking about back orders. Where, I mean, I, I bet you Hanlon could probably lay out a handful of back orders right now. Uh, since he's, you know, part owner in Hanlon Motorsports, an elite distributor with Tremec. I mean, he, he, he can vouch for me by saying, man, my, 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 my rebuild kits from Tremec are just absolutely on back order forever. It seems like uh, I actually plan on putting a supercharger on my 89 GT, but when I look at it, it's never in stock. Um, I think I want to say that, uh, Donnie, Donnie B is, is, is there, are they really that bad? I thought you, I thought you had some superchargers on the shelf. Happy Easter to you, Sly Fox. I appreciate you joining the channel, my man. Recent member, my newest member right there, Mr. Sly Fox. Appreciate you, brother. 89 GT. I got glad I got my B31 when I from you when I did, Donnie. I believe I got last system accident. Mm. So the other back order stuff that I got going on. Um, 
See, that's one of the main reasons why I didn't bring my black car, my white car down this year. And, you know, I was really happy with the way the black car ran. And I was actually really happy the way the, the white car ran. Uh, for the most part, I knew I needed a bigger turbo and a bigger housing. But instead of me going out and buying a turbo, which I knew was going to be on back order anyway, I had that big 80 millimeter, but I ended up giving that back to my buddy. Uh, who, who It really wasn't mine to begin with, but he was going to let me use it for the one of the cars to make a little bit more power. But I ended up... Uh, getting downwind of the fact that precision was making these housings for my turbo so it was going to kind of relieve my problem to begin with so yeah halen t5 counter cluster plate that thing centered well yes i know what you're talking about rum river it's perfectly fine i know what you're talking about you're talking about the two the four counter sunks how you how you you know how you you, you put the four counter sunks in and it looks like one isn't straight you're fine trust me i did have vortex four tech kits on the shelf but they are all sold and all the kits i have are, are order sold so depending on option selecting to, oh wow two months it's about rule of thumb right now the classic side i use kentucky mustang for bigger parts because the truck freight ships costs their quarter panels are four months out wow so like without getting real political is it just the fact that I mean, why is there so much back order? Is it because we're just ordering more stuff? Or you think you think this is a bubble? Do you guys think this is a bubble where, like, I don't want to get political here now. Come on. But do you think this has something to do with inflation? Do you think this has something to do with the job force? I mean, maybe a couple of the people that, that actually, you know, I, I just don't understand how we can just go from, you know, pretty much buying whatever we wanted for the most part, to just like everything's on back order. So what do we do now? You know? What's up, Smurfit? <clears throat> EPA, huh? EPA. You talk about the RPM Act? How about sunroofs? Some people haven't gone back to work, I hear. Well, I get it. So we're so we're getting the, the so we're getting the end we're getting we're in the 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 ass end of you know the the big push where there wasn't like anybody allowed to go to work let alone going to work because in, in and so is that what you're saying with the with, with with what happened with the pandemic or whatever I mean is that the problem raw steel aluminum comes from overseas Russia and China not politics at all hmm. yeah but I mean I get that but I mean that I don't know. Whoops. At Slow Fox, not anymore. Call Brad at Liberty. They will do. They will do it. Okay. So what did Slow Fox say? Do y'all face? Yeah. The, Liberty's the guy. You call Brad over at Liberty. He's he can get you set up. But I'm going to tell you right now, just like everything else, uh, especially on on parts, because Tremex on back order with like literally everything. So if you're trying to get something face plated and need to order gears or something like that, I can tell you that. Liberty uh, is usually on a normal they're two months out, but I can guarantee you they're 12 to 16 weeks, probably at a minimum. Uh, all companies I called and talked said their COVID hurt their workforce. Yeah, I get it. So it did have a lot to do with the pandemic. Man, that, that sucks. I don't like having car parts for my stuff. I don't like my stuff sitting on the, on the, on the jack stands no more than anybody else, but... You know, thankfully my cars run, but I mean, they're not, you know, we're not anywhere near where we want to be. You know what I mean? I mean, I got a coupe I want to, you know, weld a roof onto, but you know, where am I going to find a, you know, a 460 or a truck coyote motor or, a, you know, something crazy and weird to put in there, you know, Ford related, of course. It's all back ordered because, uh, come on. All right, so let's not get all democratic, blue collar, <laughs> or uh, political. Let's not get this political. So it's my fault for asking that. <clears throat> I'm no, I'm the, I'm not partial to Democrats or Republicans. It's, you know, we're talking about Mustangs. So let's kind of curb that question a little bit. Let's go some. Let's go in a different direction. So what can we do? You know obviously cylinder heads and intakes and camshafts like literally everything is on back order like literally and you know how do you deal with it so 
you know, I was always told in the military, you're you're better a problem than a solution. You, you want to try to be not you don't want to be a problem. You want to be part of the solution. So what are some of the things that we could, you know, we can do as consumers for our Fox bodies with all this, you know, all this stuff going on? I've been waiting on fiberglass trunk hood since October 31st, man. I work in retail guys, workforce and import export are okay. So it's the import and exports got a big hit on it. I've got a 1970s 460 DOE VE heads, which yeah, man, I definitely, listen, I want to do something different with this create a coupe that we're doing. You know what I mean? And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think the solution, you know, I think the solution, even if you bought a new Mustang, Stephen King, why would, you know, you're still, even if you want to do anything to it, I'm going to tell you right now that I'm pretty sure I can speak for, uh, I have a new Ford truck, a 21, 2020, 2020 diesel three F three fifty, right? Like I couldn't even order a 2023 in August because I paid it off or I'm paying it off. I couldn't even hand that the rest of the way in and get a 2023 because Ford stopped production on all their like uh, orders. Is that right? Orders, April 1st, something like that. That's what they told me out there at the dealership. So you couldn't even buy a new Mustang right now, I guess. I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, it, it's just crazy. It's just crazy what, you know, some of the craziest back orders I've heard people even even talk about. I heard the, the like the 363 is like in April of like 2023. Wow. I mean, I don't even think Dart's even making blocks right now, right? So that's a problem. When we live there, good Fox swap meets. Yeah, when, where will be there? Yeah, you know what? This could be the chance for you as a consumer to to start thinking about swap meets now swap meets used to be that's man that's a great one sly fox yeah i appreciate you bringing that up that's a solution is buying used and buying a swap and somebody else just mentioned buying used there's nothing wrong with buying used if you're a mechanic and there's something wrong with it you can either get it fixed or don't buy it because you'll see something's obviously wrong with it i mean we as there, there's plenty of stuff out there used on the market that you could probably buy and, and get and, and get by on your project and, and, and be able to, to, to drive it and enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? So that's one solution that you can do until we get caught up. You know, I mean, <clears throat> I think that's a great, you know, buy used. I think we're going to put that on the board. You know, I'm not, I'm not just talking about, you know, Facebook marketplace. This is way bigger than Facebook marketplace. I'm talking about Craigslist. Remember Craigslist like kind of died off for a while. You know, uh, Craigslist kind of died off for a while when they were, you know, when they were, uh, yeah, they were big 10, 15 years ago. And then when Facebook marketplace started getting big, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, it kind of went off. I think, I think the, 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 the problem with Craigslist was when they started charging, when they were charging like five dollars to post a car. That's kind of ridiculous. So you couldn't coast, you couldn't post a car in like a parts car or whatever, and in like a whole pile of parts and catch a deal on all of it or bundle or whatever, because it would charge the guy five dollars just to list the damn thing. I think that started about three or four years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, you know, and that's the one of the biggest problems we have, 89 GT. That's for sure. That's one of the biggest problems we have is, you know, you've already, you know, you threw the loot out and, you know, getting it back is just almost impossible at this point, you know. Will Ford take over have a swap meet? I am safe to say yes. I'm pretty sure. I mean, he had a couple, three or four guys there. Matter of fact, I bought a couple things from a guy. Um, I'm almost willing to bet 100% going to be going to be at least a handful, a dozen. I don't know if Foxcast is here in chat somewhere wants to chime in on some Ford takeover stuff, but feel free to Caleb if you're there. But uh, I do think that if you're following Ford takeover on Facebook over there, the event, I do think there is a swap meet and it's going to be set up on Saturday. If I remember correctly, they were all the way down and set up on the, uh, on the, on the grass or whatever. So 
A lot of us having parts laying around collecting dust, maybe it's time to find each other. Yeah, that's correct. I agree with that. So like maybe it is time, maybe it's time for us to, to, to learn how to fix, uh, to do our own thing. So like if you're out there and I, I preach this all the time, guys, I literally built dad's turbo kit. Like, yeah, I had headers, I get it. Um, you know, having the passenger header specifically made it easy for the most part, because the flange is already welded in and I had it all reinforced. But gonna be honest with you, I priced it out on Amazon because I was actually gonna buy all the material on Amazon. And I was just gonna make one and make good content for the channel, the flanges and everything. And it wasn't, it wasn't all that much money. I'm not even going to lie to you. I mean, you could make your own stuff. I mean, if you're looking to do a turbo kit, you don't have to wait on, I mean, I think, I think on three, I, listen, I don't, I don't ever talk to on three. So like I, I, I messed with a lot of their products, but I've never really like, they don't pay me to say anything. I didn't pay me to promote it. Um, I, I, I'm pretty safe to say that they're like six months to a year out on some of their kits and it's just the same problems that everybody else is having so maybe it might be time to go ahead and get a welder and start learning how to get all that stuff done yourself you know i'm not wrong with that i mean i think 650 motors and in, in, in chad here uh, he just rebuilt a whole crossover a couple of them as a matter of fact he sent me some some stuff over here on instagram handling for the win went out of the way to get my tkx to my house in two days and wow nice that's what it's all about listen hanlon's very good about the tkx stuff so i want to give a shout out to them again um if you're looking for tkx i think he's got a line on a, i think he's got a handful of them on the shelf so they're not on back order but the bell housings that's a different story i think there's a problem with the bell housings uh and i think vengeance clutch is pretty set so i think you're pretty good on back orders with those guys what's up rattle trap i've been buying and trading parts for a uh, for what I need, Facebook and driving three or four hours. Yeah, I get it. What's up, Fox Body newbie? So, it's the raw materials. Why it? Why are we importing that? Make our own metals. We used to. I agree with that, Stephen. I agree with that too. I agree that we need to get back to the old ways. Um, you know, and just start. You know, making making everything made in America, man. Made in the USA. I mean, that's where I, that's what I want to see when I look in the label. Went to a swap meet in North Carolina yesterday at Fox Resto Warehouse. Good selection. Yeah, Matt always has a very nice selection. And the people, I mean, how many people were there? <clears throat> so, I mean, that's where we're at. We're buying used. You know, we're, we're trading. You know, we're learning how to do some of our stuff ourselves. I mean... I mean, with the with the, with the H pipes. I mean, isn't it like now they can't even sell an H pipe unless it's got a cat on it or something? But you can buy a build your own H pipe though, which that's a that's that's kind of cool. Um, I've built a, I built a couple myself. I mean, what's the main things that were on back order? You know, cylinder heads, camshaft, turbo kits, pretty much everything. So can't really say that. The chip issue is more related to car companies not wanting to go with the newer chips. They were told the companies were going to start making from making from what I've heard. You talk about Ford, so there is an issue. There has been an issue, but yeah, yes, made in the U.S. Please come back. Maybe some of us get need to get into mass fabbing, and that's what I'm talking about. Listen, the you can make your own cage with a bender i mean welder is everything you know if you don't know how to weld it's really not that hard i mean you could i self-taught myself am i the best welder absolutely not i'm not in there anywhere close to that but if it holds i'm happy if it's pretty clean i'm happy and you could always grind the welds down with a 120 disc on a freaking grinder and, and it look and look professional so you know welding's a big thing because you can do a lot of fabrication with welding. You can fix things. You know, you can weld your sub frames in. You can weld your torque boxes in, your reinforcements. Uh, you could weld up your axle. You know, obviously, you could make your own exhaust or weld up your exhaust. And you can find things and be creative. I think I think at this point, being creative with Fox bodies is going to be like the most important thing. You know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> we catch up in chat here. I'm happy LMR got an 84 SVO lenses back. We have to protect the environment by screwing ourselves over. China just locked down Shanghai. I, I heard about that. I heard there was some stuff going on with the, uh, with some more of the pandemic or whatever. Can I can do word of mouth from looking for parts? Post wanted ad and see if people want parts and for sale in local speed shops. And that's what it is. You guys got to, you know, we've gotten away from that. That's a good point, Chris. I'm, it's a good point. Um, we I'm going to be honest with you guys. You know, being, you know, back in the day, man, when I say back in the day, like literally 10 years ago, I mean, when you wanted something, you went and you found it. We used to have, you know, we used to have websites like the corral.net still going well, um, from what I understand. And, and uh, you know, obviously you have your Facebook groups and there's stuff being sold constantly on marketplace. It's like we're so used to at this point, just looking at a website seeing how much it is and just clicking it and boom, it's on our, you know, it's on our front, you know, our front porch in, in five days, you see what I mean? Three days. And we've gotten, I'm going to be honest with you, man. We've gotten to the point to where that was like the norm. It's like Amazon just set the standard for shipping. And then, and, and this is coming from a guy who ships a lot of car parts, you know, they set the standard so high that like, you know, prime gets next day and, like it, we've gotten almost spoiled to the fact that we, you know, we, we've stopped looking like you see that video I just did with that pick with that motor and transmission. Like that was fun as shit, man. I, I drove three hours one way, you know, six total and literally was at the guy's house eight minutes. I mean, and I looked at the engine, I looked at the transmission, did an easy, I mean, picking parts and finding, you know, piles of parts, whether I need them or not, you know, it's just being creative. You know what I mean? or not so much creative, but, uh, you know, just being very, uh, thrifty. That's the good word to look at. Auto trader. Yes. Yes. Auto trader was big back in the day. Where can I get a DIY H pipe kit? I'm pretty sure summit racing has them still. I could probably give you a part number. Let me see if I can bust this box out right here. Uh, the DIY Y pipe that I use, on a couple of my cars. That's six four two one three zero. Is that right? It's either eight four two one three zero or six four two one three zero. It's one of the two. Yep. I think there was an H pipe kit. Uh, like I said, six four. It's either six four two one three zero or it's eight four two. I can't make out the, the first digit. It looks like a six or an eight, whatever. Andrew, I think Summit Racing has some. That's correct. I'm not sure. It just says right there, Summit brand H pipe tube kit. You can make a bunch of shit from that too. Uh, you know what? That might be the three inch one though too. There's a two and a half, so it'd probably be in the same you know, same ballpark or whatever. Yeah. So I guess, yeah, chocolate Fox is going to have a swap meet. So if you're going to Cho chocolate Fox, you might be able to score some cool parts for sure. Main thing is, is, is just being thrifty. That's where we, that's where we're at. You know, like it or not. It's like we went back 10 years. We got to be thrifty again. You know, we can't just expect to, to be, you know, get whatever parts we want, which kind of sucks because it got used to just being able to just, you know, call up, text, or, or just get on a website and just go order a bunch of parts. But maybe it might be a good thing, you know? What do you think? So the... Uh, Foxcast Media in the house. <laughs> What's up, Caleb? Good to see you. We were just talking about Ford Takeover. Uh, some of the guys were asking if there was going to be a swap meet, and I pretty much told them, I'm pretty sure I seen you mentioned something about that. So I know there was some guys there last year that just kind of set up or whatever, but I think it's going to be kind of official, I guess. I don't know. 
in the future we will be slanging fox parts on the download see we're we'll because we're gonna be slanging dollars or, or, or gallons of gas but i got this 93 premium over here bro <laughs> My oil pan was stolen on the first, and I'm depressed, thinking about giving up on my project. Ah, oh, man, you, your oil pan was stolen? Like, it was in the car, and it was stolen off the engine, or it was like something that you were about to put on? Don't, don't give up on your project. Don't ever give up on your project. We don't, we, you know, you can't accept defeat in this channel right here. You know, our Fox bodies don't, we, we don't accept that. You got you to gotta keep pushing forward, Edward. You'll get it done. I mean, you just gotta you just gotta move on. Was it just a stock oil pan, or was it like uh, you know, like a new one or something? Or <clears throat> um, what's good, Tim Webb? What's good, Foscast? Yes, there will be a swap meet space for whoever wants to come and sell. So there you go. So we're talking about being thrifty, Caleb. We're talking about what we can do with these back orders. And these uh, temporary out of stock forever, uh, trying to get around that to get your Fox body ready, or you know, at least you know, and we're you know we're talking about Facebook Marketplace, we're talking about Craigslist, Corral.net, you know, um, <laughs> literally swap meets. I mean, because like the the, the swap meets kind of died off a lot because of the internet, and now we're gonna have to get thrifty and and, and crafty with what we're kind of. You know, we got to learn how to weld maybe get some get some you know h pipes and you know build your own turbo kit stuff you know what's up what's up roberto Betancourt? april 1st james salter was my reference to i think ford stopped taking orders after april 1st but here's the funny thing is like two days later i seen commercials pushing to order a truck but they told me right at the dealer when i got my stuff done two weeks ago that you can't order a truck. <clears throat> anybody need a Storm and Horm Norman Hood? I got one. Uh, if anybody's interested, has a Ram kit in it too. So yeah, that, so that'd be kind of a good start. Since we're on back orders and, you know, uh, it, I, w I wouldn't care too much if you guys mentioned that you have parts for sale in my chat. Just kind of keep it at a minimum. Um, especially if you watch this th this live chat afterwards and you want to put stuff in the comments below. You know what I mean? You can post stuff for sale on my channel. I don't care, man. You know, and, and then you guys can speak amongst each other, leave each other's emails or whatever. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Thank you. Thank you. It was from Porch Canton 450. Wow. Warning, 5-speed TKX 97. Okay. There's a guy in Carroll or Corral that made over 300 wheel on ported E7s. That's possible. Is that on a is that on a Mustang Dino? And was it loaded? A lot of questions they don't tell you. Like when I go to make some when I go to make a horsepower number in any of my cars for the most part, I always bring up the the, the chart, the loaded chart, and the and the temperature correction because there's a lot of different ways you can kind of manipulate a dyno to make a different number does that make sense yeah i picked out an mrt hood truck kit and package from a guy on the, on, on the meat nice at swap meet there's so much good stuff at swap meets you guys just gotta go at neo mustangs yes everyone is out of stock on everything i can't find wheels for project two-tone been waiting for months we just keep on plugging away i know and project two-tone coming along real well Obviously, you guys watch Foxcast Media over there. You see, he did all that interior work. Um, we, you know, he did that motor, got that thing running, you know, nice and sick. I think it's getting ready for paint or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. Um, wheels, you know, paint, stance, and wheels. You know, those are the big ones. Hey there, White. I appreciate you, Lamar. It's good to see you, my man. It's good to see you. I've been looking for 17-inch chrome pony wheels for a year. Are you serious? So I bet you there's somebody here in chat that's got chrome pony wheels. Or, oh, chrome pony wheels, 17s. I'm thinking Cobra R. <laughs> my bad. My bad. Hell yes. Which valves? Not sure on dyno. With bigger valves? Not sure on dyno. Oh, okay. So he, he put 
He, he, if they were poor, they were worked E7. I get it. I get it. Swap beats will be more frequent and drawing more crowds. Yes. So you guys can pretty much guarantee the best thing for you guys to do in 2022, it's better to be part of a solution than a problem. If you're looking to get your Fox body off the off the jack stands, and you're looking to to, to you know to, to get it, just just get the car together, like get the car together. Don't stare at it and wait on the back. F a back order. Don't even don't even bother. Find your find your friends that got all these parts. Pay them their money. Get your car running. Get it off the jack stand so you can go to these events. You ain't getting any younger. You know what I mean? And that's where I'm at with these cars. I, you know, I ain't chasing next. What's the next best thing? I'm going to run an eight in this car behind me eventually. Am I going to do it this year? Probably not, but I'm going to sure try. But the main thing I'm trying to say is, is don't let these back orders and don't let these out of stocks get you, get, get you all worked up. Even if you got to put stock parts back on your car and place mixed and matched and whatever with whatever you already have, just go with it and send it. I mean, half the battle is, you know, three quarters of the battle is just getting it together and driving it anyways. You know, you could always go back and change the stuff later. <clears throat> she's at the point now, she's at paint now, going to be sick. Nice. Is she, uh, they went to Michigan or somebody painting them down there in Tennessee. What up, big dog? Mike Straminski's in the house and he's just got finished with what I think is his white car. I think that's the one right there in his picture or whatever. Um, that paint job was sick, man. I'm sorry I haven't been able to comment very much on your on, on your post, but that paint looks really good, man. That actually looks exactly like my black car because I ran the 16-inch uh, Cobra R's on that when I first bought it. I didn't even know they were 16s. It was kind of bad. <laughs> Carlisle's another big one. Lewis, I, I expected somebody to say something. Carlisle's a big swap meet. Columbus has a big swap meet. You know, the best thing for us to do Maybe on our channel, maybe on Foxcast, you know, maybe on Brutal's channel, you know, you talk about these swap meets that are coming up, kind of get the word out. You know what I mean? You're not advertising. I don't want to advertise for free, you know, like just say, hey, go, go, you know, go to go to this place or go to that place. Not not so much advertise for free, but like, you know, hey, I want you to do this. You know, I don't want to influence somebody to to go somewhere and it's not going to be very good. You know what I mean? But I think places like Carlisle and, and Columbus. And some of the big swap meets will be good. Brutal doesn't sell his wheels. That's right. He just keeps switching them. Instead of buying new wheels, had Cobra R's blasted. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Dude, I I got Cobra R's sitting right over there that I that were absolute trash, bro. <laughs> they were at, dude, he's absolute trash. So I had a buddy of mine that was really good at stripping the old chrome off. And we just literally just powder coated them for like a base and then we painted them. And it came out sick. You know, it's just, it's all about being thrifty at this point. It's like, that should, that should be a good video for one of us content creators to come up. It's just like some of the things that we can do to be thrifty in the back order emergence. You know what I mean? That's a good one, GT. Uh, Dan, you ever, uh, you ever, you ever know Cunley Motorsports Park going to be sick? You ever know? You never know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's like, that's like my main track. So they put millions into that. Tra well, I can't say that. I don't know that. They bought it for millions, of course, but uh, they put a lot of money and time into it. So we'll see. I'm actually hitting the track this Friday with this car right here. I didn't realize that Dragway 42 was open. So Friday is supposed to be pretty sick up here in Ohio. And I'm looking forward to possibly making a hit this Friday on the white car. I don't know if you guys notice a difference or not. Anybody notice something different about my white car? OG Fox by Foxcast, your car going to be done for Ford Takeover? Yeah, that's that's a, that's a good question. I don't know if he's uh, willing to answer that here. But uh, did uh, did Adam get your – Adam had your car, right? The red one? At Foxcast, OG, no, sir, it's going to be a while. Hmm. Never mind, I answered it right there. Yep. So if you guys remember the white car – I'm actually going to put this in a video, so I'm kind of spoiling it, but it is what it is. It'll get 10 views. It'll get 10,000 views. I don't really care. Um, if you guys look at the hood, am I pointing at it right? Here. If you guys look at the hood, we got the uh, we got it painted, or we painted it. I got tired of looking. Man, that hood has been gray primer for five years. 
Like it was terrible. I mean, it's not even that good of a hood. Uh, it was just the SVO Cobra R hood. And I like that one. It's on my black car. I really like that one because it gets air into the uh, into the engine bay and stuff. So. <clears throat> I couldn't sell my E7s for 30 bucks. I threw them in the dumpster. Jesus. That's why I named my channel what I did. Thrifty is budget balling. <laughs> Uh, yes, the white collar is all one color right now. Actually, uh, I'm going to go ahead and spin you guys Or here's, I guess I'll go ahead and, uh, no, I'll save it. I'll save it. I got something else over there we painted. We'll save that for the video. I got a handful of upgrades for this. There's a couple things that we're doing to the white car for safety reasons. Um, and you guys will see, I mean, I, I literally was going down the track. 140, 150 miles an hour, about hitting a wall. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys, I'll show you guys in the video this week. It wasn't good. I'll show you why. <clears throat> Will 17s clear the a ATS brake set? Yes. That hood, the hood got painted. Yep. So it, you know, I did put this, I did put it on Instagram. You know what? It didn't come out perfectly matched with the car. Well, here's what I'm telling you. I'm not a big paint guy. My, my paint doesn't have to look 100% amazing. I love my car for what it is. It's practically a family member of me. You know that. And I like to drive my cars a lot. That means they're going to get nicked. They're going to get dinged. And they're not going to be perfect. And I'm okay with that. And you should be too. Your, your Fox body doesn't have to be perfect. Um, my whole goal in life... Well, my whole goal in Fox body world was to build a Fox body that looks good, that it's super fast, and that just works. Like I got a, a, I got a crazy setup going on with my 363 on my black car. And it's, I encourage you guys to do this stuff. Just build up to it. You don't have to have a 363 to do it. You don't have to have a 408 to do it. You could do it with your stock motor. Because I'm going to be honest with you, man, I had more fun with my dad's car than I did with these damn aftermarket blocks. I bet that wing is white too. That's correct. Actually, the wing is the original paint. We just took it off the race years ago. <clears throat> do you ever run eighth mile? Um, we do. I just never geared for it. You have to actually gear for the eighth mile. At, at least I think so. Can't get any brake uh, upgrade kits either. All on back order. Are you talking about the um, the SNS kit for the Cadillac brakes? Or are you talking about um? What do you, which one are you talking about, King? Ben Thomas, basically a car show now. Better pack a lawn chair and some white. <laughs> he said, he said white New Balances, bro. Hey, let me tell you what that's all about, bro. Let me tell you what that's all about. You pull up into the track, or you pull up next to somebody at a car show, and you but you fit to go race them. You basically at the track, and you guys are in the staging lanes or whatever, uh, getting ready to get to to to, to make a hit. And that dude gets out of the truck or car or whatever he's racing, and he got some white New Balances on. You finna get gapped, bro. You 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 about to get drugged. That's all I'm saying. Because the only guys that wear New Balances are old school, big block nitrous, not losing the race guys <laughs> with a big tire about that big on the back. Off topic. What's the longest you've owned a current Fox? Uh, the one behind me. I think I've had this one, twenty years. Yeah, 20 years. I've had the Black Fox for 12. Uh, Dad's car was 12. Um, those are the oldest ones I have. Um, yeah, 20, 12, and 12. I think the black car might be 13, but whatever. Um, what car is you bringing in for a takeover, Neil? Uh, I am bringing this white car. I'm actually going to Chocolate Fox. If you guys uh, are going to Chocolate Fox, uh, I plan on making the event pending I can get a hotel room because I guess there's an event uh, going on. Oh, yeah, let's see Smurf. It's, uh, check it out. We painted that car Grabber Blue. Hell, yeah. Congratulations. I heard it was running. So, anyways, back to Chocolate Fox. The uh, There was an event going on that weekend, too. So apparently the hotel rates are like off the wall. So it's crazy. 
Um, Mike B's had his 24 years. What was he talking about? Rum was talking about Steven. Steven, Steve, where you at? Cobra fronts and rears SBA brands. Okay. So why don't you just get the Cadillac ones? They're, they're better at break and they're probably cheaper. SN95 spindles. You guys know the video. We got it up there. We're fitting to do that on that on my black car soon. Actually, dad's car needs an alignment and a brake upgrade because they're getting spongy. All I wear is new balances. Oh boy. <laughs> What days are you going to Chocolate Fox? I plan on leaving. Now, my girlfriend, Katie, has to, um, not to get personal or whatever, but she 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 works. So she's going to, we'll probably be leaving Friday morning really, really early because it's only five hours from me. So I want to be there midday Friday and kind of do the a little bit of events. I think it's got a couple events in the afternoon and I think the dino's up and then, of course, be there for Saturday, but we'll see. What's up, Turbo Man 351? I need a repaint. I need to repaint my car. Man, start start block sanding that. Start start taking stuff off. Start taping it, baby. Hell yeah. I've had my Fox body since 97. Yeah, I actually, this car right here, uh, I learned a very, very valuable lesson. And I'll go ahead and share that with you right now. The only reason why I even own this GT behind me was because when I was in college, um, I was getting ready to, uh, my buddy was graduating one night. Um, it was in May and, uh, I used to, I used to chew tobacco back in the day and we used to play a lot of video games while we were in college. So like, uh, you know, we were, you know, um, <clears throat> we, we were having a few drinks that night celebrating my man, you know, graduating or whatever. So I've told the story before. Um, I made a bad decision that night. I had a really, really, really mint Oxford white. LX50 had Cobra R's on it, H pipe. Bought it from a, a dentist's wife who drove it back and forth. I mean, it had like 40,000 miles on it. Got it for a thousand bucks, bro. Blown head gasket. Got in that car. Got no, no further than down the road. Got stupid with it. Got sideways. Sent it right into a telephone pole. I rip, ended up ripping my skin on my knuckles. I was gripping the steering wheel so bad and it went all the way forward. Put my buddy into the windshield, which I, uh, regret to this day uh you know i should have never got behind the wheel man so a lot of the parts that came out of that car went into this car and it was a uh, lesson learned that i will never drive ever intoxicated in any way shape or form in any vehicle so you know i hurt my friend at night he was one of my best friends in the you know we just never were friends after that so it is what it is we're just lucky we walked away Anyway, that's the only reason why. And I that happened in like 20, 2002, 2003. So <clears throat> I still have that car's fenders as a reminder in my shop. You guys might think that's weird or whatever, but I still have the car's fenders in my shop as a reminder. They will rust in front of me until they're no more. So <clears throat> that's why I'm wearing my Mustang, Chris. That uh, that you they usually have thirteens. <laughs> now you know what you 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 learn lessons in life, and and hopefully you get through life without making you know. I always tell my kids don't do anything permanent, and you know drinking and driving can be permanent. So what's up, Pim? It's good to see you guys. It's good to see everybody. So, yeah, I hang those those fenders. You can ask Cousin Paul who's in chat. Hell, Sandy probably seen them. They're sitting in a rotten right in the back of my shop, hanging up. Loud and proud, bro. Loud and proud. Don't drive your Fox bodies intoxicated. <laughs> Don't do it. Anyway, um, back, back on the subject of back orders. Um, I really think that, you know, we need to we need to get thrifty, bro. So, did I spell that? Tell me I spelled it right. We need to get thrifty. Meaning that, you know, that could have another thing. Uh, let me put another one on there, bro. Learn a new skill. 
right? Weld fab. So maybe we are at the point now to where, you know, we need to learn a new skill and learn how to weld and fab because, you know, you can make your own exhaust. You know, you don't need to buy the shit that they have on the shelf. You know, make your own stuff. You know, what's even funny is you can buy, you can buy 16 gauge aluminized or galvanized or whatever uh, exhaust pipe on Amazon in big packages where you could literally sawzall it, slip fit it, tack weld it, and then be done with it. Not tack, but you know, learn how you can learn how to weld, build your own exhaust, and be done with it. My exhaust does not look perfect on my black car, but after I get it off again and get everything V-banded, because I've been lazy about doing that, then I'm gonna clean up all the welds and ceramic coat it and be done with it. And it's gonna be pretty dope because I did my own exhaust. And I did it for like a couple hundred bucks instead of paying somebody thousands to do it, you know. Get thrifty, bro. I got a DUI on my blown 347 Fox. Hit a fence. Yep. There is a story behind Smurf 2. Pretty much saves Cousin Paul's life. That's correct. So I'll let Cousin Paul tell that story someday. That's That, that hits me pretty close as well. I've always tried to learn from other people too, not just my own mistakes. Don't drink and drive. Yeah. Horsepower and alcohol do not mix. They do not. What's up, Jason Hansen? Good to see you, my man. Good to see you. Appreciate you coming out. Corbet Seats from LMR said they're one month out called and they said two more. I asked for a refund out of nowhere. A chair showed up two weeks later. The other chair. They never charged me. Hmm. That's very, yeah, that was very nice of them. So um, anyways, that's where we got to be with, you know, you know, we talked about some of the things that were on back order earlier. You know, we talked about, you know, we're getting into about an hour here. Again, guys, if, if, if you get the little circle-y, circle-y, circle-y thing where I freeze, just give it a second. It'll come back. No big deal. Um, yeah, I mean, that's be part of a solution. Be proactive with your Fox bodies. If your Fox body is sitting on a stand right now waiting for parts, I don't care if you got to put E7 heads on the damn thing or GT40s that you find at the marketplace. Just do it. Get them cleaned up. Get them on your car. Get the car running again because you don't know when you're going to get your aluminum heads because everything's on back order, right? Like I was going to build a 363 stroker for the car behind me because I got a $4,000 custom built turbo kit that's sitting there rotting on my shelf, but it's built for an 8.2 deck motor. I can't put it on the 9.4 deck motor. I can't even fabricate it for a 9.4 deck, nine deck motor because the headers are too big. Point I'm trying to make is I was going to build a 363 and sell the 408 if you guys remember that, but I nixed that because it's like the if I didn't order the sportsman block Six months ago, I wasn't getting it. So that's how back orders have changed my whole doing here on, on YouTube and some of the stuff and the content that I bring to you guys. <clears throat> I try to learn by doing, I pieced together and welded my own exhaust, 88, bought a cheaper welder. Yeah, I mean, and there's these welders, I mean, it'll work. I mean, if you learn how to weld, you know, get out there and, 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 and learn a skill. That's what I'm saying right now. Get out there and learn a, a, a skill or fabricate if you don't already know. Even if you're just a, uh, you know, even if you're just not very good at welding. I mean, make your own exhaust. See what happens. What worse can happen? You have booger welds? Okay, well, there's a couple of YouTube channels on teach you how to weld. It's really not that hard. Buy a good helmet so you can see and get you a, che a cheap welder and you should be good to go. Maybe it's time for that, you know, be part of a solution more than a problem. Fox Newbie, uh, what was the part number in the exhaust again? 642130. Let me Google it. I think that's the three inch though. <laughs> 642130, 642130 summit. Just put summit. Yeah, it's 179 bucks. That's the three inch one though, but it's an X pipe kit. Um, three inch aluminized. I think there's a two and a half one looks just like it. Uh, you can, you could probably fabricate that right up the long tubes with a couple flanges. Um, obviously if you have mufflers, you you could, you could do anything with that. Yep. 
Yes, sir. Why you got a... <laughs> Look, if you got a 363 or a 408, you should get thrifty and try to find yourself a set of used aluminum heads somewhere. I mean, if you got to put, don't, I mean, I, I don't know if I'd put E7 heads, go as far as put E7 heads on a big stroker motor. I get it. I get it. But <laughs> whew, it, you're going to have to, you're going to have to scour for some heads, man. I, I don't know. <laughs> Good point. Well taken. Night all. Happy Easter two weeks till race season. I appreciate the Smurf coming out. Um, oh, gee, I, I smoke tested mine, checked my welds. I sent, I sent me. I sent my X pipe to cats too hard with the impact ended up holding it. Uh, I'm going to buy a TIG and learn to do aluminum. Ah, that's where it's at, man. If you can do some aluminum, bro. Just playing. You know what I mean? I, I get it. Boy, he, he backstepping now. <laughs> Who, me? Never. <laughs> hey, if listen. What would you rather do? Even if it's a 363 or a 347, that is not the answer. But would you rather sit there and stare at it and wait? Or would you rather get the motor broken and wait for a good set of uh, cylinder heads to come through? I think the AFRs are on sick back order, man. Sly Fox, not touching my turbo till I have every piece. That's right. 650 motors i i'm working on a turbo base kit on a set of inch and three quarter shorty headers on my 93 fobra, bobra i'm sure that says cobra so if you guys don't know who 650 is if you guys are you guys all know i'm in ohio so i'm like on the east coast 650 is um he is based out of san fran uh, i think the bay area so he's in california he's on the west coast and he does a lot of terminator x he does a lot of tuning out there and he deals in nothing but pretty much Fox body stuff. He's out. He's also uh, he he's also a mechanic on another larger channel um, that that he's featured on. That he does a lot of work for that content creator. So um, you know, make sure you if you're on the West Coast and you're looking for some tuning or some Fox body work, that's the guy to go to right there. Uh, crossover pipe, X pipe, steel, aluminized, two and a half inch diameter. Yep. So it's six four two. 125. So the 130 is the three inch. Oh, well, that makes sense. Duh. The 125, the, the last two numbers is two and a half inch, and the one I gave you is three inch. So perfect. My LS, my LS buddies are beating me because of the shortage. <laughs> what do you recommend for a cam on a 351 Windsor? Uh, it depends on the cylinder heads and what your plans are, but whatever gets the damn thing running, that's not factory, not the factory 351 cam. Throw that thing out. Just put it on the shelf. What's up, Daniel Robinson? Good to see you, my dude. Summit Racing Tech in the house. You saying I should put a 347 in with these in an exploder intake? Bro, if you you do what you got to do. <laughs> I mean, you do what you got. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put any less than GT40s on it, but even that, no. I mean, if you got a 347 though, I mean, you got to be able to find you a set of used aluminum heads somewhere. Cousin Paul in the house when you weren't, Cousin Paul, what, what, what are you elbow coughing? What is that? You do that every week. What are you doing? Big shout, big shout, Cousin Paul. Air Force heads, what? There it is. They're not in stock, are they? At Summit? They aren't in stock. Bro, you guys heard it on my channel. Y'all need to head over to Summit Racing because the Summit Racing sales tech guy, right? Am I pointing right? Right there? Am I pointing right? Daniel Robinson sells many, many Summit Racing parts. He knows, if anybody knows. You got AFRs in stock there, Cat. Woo. Fox Nimi, man, I appreciate your 999 super chat. I also want to give another shout out to Jason Fields for his 999 super sticker super chat. Guys, I really appreciate your uh your uh your helping the channel here. 
you know, everything we do for the channel goes for the channel. And, you know, it's, it's, it's very, uh, it's very appreciated, my dude. All right. Um, I think only 185 Renegade heads at Summit. 165s are out. What's up, Ford? Matt, what's up? I miss Fox Body. Just, just what I did, miss Fox Body. That's right. It's good to see you in the house, though. It's good to see you. Another big club uh, club member. He just upgraded his membership, I think, not too long ago. Guys, man, the guys in green, man. It's the join button below. Hit it up. Appreciate everybody. Just sold some today, stock in Texas. So there's some in the, well, it doesn't matter where they're at, right? You got Georgia, Nevada, Texas, and Ohio, right? The 185 Enforcer heads are great, too. I run them on stock more, and they scream. <clears throat> Ford Strokers, that's Woody, isn't it? Is that Woody's uh, Woody's business? Best Street 600 horsepower street clutch. Um, RXT twin disc, McLeod. Uh, apparently, Vengeance has a good twin disc that's good for uh, 600, 700, 800 wheel. <clears throat> there will be another shortage by the time I get some AF. <laughs> you better, you better go out there and start selling some parts on Craigslist, bro. Um, I take that back. One eight sixty five. I have four in stock. There you go. Oh, all right. Here we go. Simon Renteria. Glad to see someone who actually knows about Fox Bodies and answers all the questions for us newbies. Man, I appreciate you uh, supporting the channel, man. I always try to answer everybody's. You know, I don't get everybody's comment, but I definitely appreciate you uh, you noticing that I, you know, my efforts in trying to answer them all. Jim and Nicole are Forge Trokers. I thought that was Woody. Who's? I thought Forge Trokers was Woody. Did he sell the business? Damn. Yep, free shipping ships tomorrow. Have a few in and have uh, have them in a few days. There you go. Went to Summit here in Arlington, Texas last weekend and had all my bottom end parts in stock. Unfortunately, now I'm gonna be honest with you. Every time I go up there and Dan Robinson is working, I ain't got no problem. I mean, he uh, he knows what I'm looking for. He follows the channel real close. He already knows what I got. So he can tell me if it's in order, you know, in back order, if it's in stock there in Talmadge, man, looks it right up for me. Summit, those Summit guys know what they're doing when you come up to the, they, you come up to the, uh, the desk, man. Oh, okay. So Jim was his first name. I thought his first name was Woody. <laughs> this is cool, man. He's got, he been doing, listen, have you got an order with, 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 with Ford Strokers? Do not cancel it. That's probably one of the most influential Fox Body Stroker guys for the last 30 years. So please, him and Ed Curtis and T Moss, bro, I could throw down a hand, Joel 5.0. I know y'all don't know what I'm talking about, but some of these guys have been very influential in our genre when I was a newbie coming in. So definitely definitely if you got an order with with one of them don't cancel it please he don't deserve that ford matt oh man everyone please don't forget that i appreciate the 50 man for for coming in and uh you know supporting the channel you you know i appreciate that and i appreciate you being a member too man it means a lot to the channel it means a lot to me it helps us to do th stuff for the channel man i appreciate you that's a big one, man. Ford Matt's probably one of my biggest, uh, him and Jason Fields. I mean, big shout out to Nathan Tuck. Um, you know, the Predator, uh, the, it was it the, the, the Predator, I think it's the Predator 5.0, man, uh, man gear. I mean, I could just go on, on and on with Carlos Rivera. I mean, I think, I think some of those guys are here in chat with me. <clears throat> What's up, Rum River? What do you say all right for? Yeah, they aren't that bad. I run the Edelbrock EFR, e EFI, Victor EFI intake and ports match good. Okay. Hey, Joel 5.0, I'm just surprised somebody knows what I'm talking about. Joel 5.0 forgot more things about Fox Body than I ever knew. And he's got an actual website. So I want to big a big shout out, spftech.com. 
The site is still up. Let me check that. Let me check that. Tell me I'm right. www.sbftech.com. There is more stuff on this website that will help you with your car builds. So there's there's more stuff on, on this website than that will help you with your Fox bodies. I'm talking about wiring. I'm talking about just tech, bro, that I have learned from that website. The KOEO, KOER uh, videos that I got actually on YouTube came from him. He taught me how to do that. He's like, you got to hold the clutch pedal in when you're doing the actual uh, video. And I'm like, hell, I didn't know that. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, Ed Curtis knows his stuff. I mean, the thing of the matter is, is, you know, he, he's, he, he's, you know, he knows his camshafts, though. So you got him good credit where credit is due, though. But I get it, pimp. I get it. I won't bug Jim about a refund. Yeah, don't, don't he's been in it so long. He'd probably just give it to you if you wanted it. I'm sure he's got great customer service. He's got great motors and, and extensive uh, engine knowledge a mile long, but he's been in it a long time. So it is, it is kind of a, you know, it, you know, if you, if you got an order with him, man, don't, don't, don't cancel with that guy, man. <clears throat> he doesn't know me. We haven't ever talked, but uh, you know, some people you just appreciate from a distance. You know what I mean? Ford, Matt, we appreciate all you're doing and teaching. Hey, man, I'm not just teaching, man. You guys teach me, too, on a daily basis. You guys teach me. I mean, it's what we're talking about today. You know, we're getting thrifty. We're buying used. You know, you learn a new skill. Do something new. You know, be part of a solution with your Fox bodies and being more of a problem. You see what I mean? Because we don't want to stare. I mean, every week I'm always talking about getting your car off jack stands. And it's just like, you know, it's just not worth it. It's not worth it to sit there and stare at it. Or get it to somebody who can get it running. I thought that site was done. No, SBF Tech, man, I'm just telling you, if you're new to the Fox body genre and you're looking to learn about your car, there is a plethora, I can't even say that word, of knowledge on SBFTech.com and Corral.net that just will blow your mind. when You can literally type in anything. Street Fox, a pimp. I'm grouchy old batch. <laughs> Bama, what's going on, man? My question is a lot of people say a heater tube delete car will run hot. Yes or no? Uh, we don't run hot. However, the antifreeze going through your airbox does cool, by the way. 650 motors. My coupe has Ed Curtis camshaft in it. The 363. Um, I ordered a 331 from Woody last June. They were very busy at four strokers. I got a world block. Nice. I deleted mine. I don't have problems overheating it. Yeah, I don't really have any problems much. Uh, one, one problem I am having is I think my contour fans are going out in my black car. I hear them squealing, so I think they're slowing up. I'm starting to get a little bit uh, nervous. So I'm going to have to go to the junkyard, boys. Where we go to get contour fans? The junkyard. We don't buy that shit that they sell at the, those those Dorman brand. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? You buy a contour fans, you go to the junkyard. Those four those Ford uh, those Ford motors are way better than anything you get Dorman used. Screw that. <clears throat> Mine's not on jack stand, just flats. Man, air the tires up. <laughs> Uh, what do you think it gets some Gen 1 trick flow heads? Man, send it. You talking about the like the 170s that don't even have like trick flow on the front of them? They just have like this 561720 number or something on the side. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Dude, we went 10 O's with a turbo kit and no waste gate on a stock bottom end block with a set of those heads from Craigslist. Had so much fun with it. Are you changing up the wheels on the white car? Yes. Uh, matter of fact, we are ordering them this week. And you might be surprised, and you're gonna name's gonna be called, by the way. Yes, it is. And you'll see what I'm talking about soon, Tom. <laughs> I guess when you're selling a four hundred dollar cam and making forty percent margin on that, you can afford to be cranky. I get it. <clears throat> what about a good old clutch fan? Well, uh, clutch fans are usually there's nothing wrong with clutch fans. Um, they do work well. 
I mean, even the reman clutch fans are pretty good, like the blade or the fan themselves. But, uh, you know, it just depends on how you want to build your car. I think, I think 650 and the guy he creates content with, I think they both run. Don't you both run a clutch fan out there in California? AFR 185 is good for a 408. If it's what you got to go with, man, it is absolutely fine. If you if there if you can't get, I don't think you can even get 205s or two or two twenties. Don't even go 220. I don't even think you can get 205s for like a year. Or so if you got to put 185s in a 408, send it. Absolutely. I bought mine new and they never quit on me. Tempted to put a clutch fan back in it. Oh, okay. So you bought the yeah, so you bought the aftermarket contour fans that I told everybody about. They were terrible. Ben Thomas, I need a custom cam if you have a custom motor. A 347 AFR heads isn't custom. Class racers and class restricted motors can benefit. I get it. Handling Motorsports, better be getting some new lightweight race wheels. Be hitting eights. I'm going to hit eights on a full weight streak. <laughs> I'm going to hit weights with a full tank of gas and a whole interior. Let's go. Say I can't. What ones? Uh, I had some problems with Mark 8 T-Bird fan. Listen, Daniel Robinson, you're talking about the contour fans? Like the Dorman ones that they sell, dude. I bought a set from Summit, and I actually did a video about a year ago, guys, right? And I put, I, I pretty much it was the brand new contour fans versus the the, the junkyard ones, and it was like a thirty percent flow difference. It was terrible. Yo, we yeah we do yeah. So you guys are running clutch fans, and it and it cools your cars down pretty good. I think Mike stayed at one eighty five. That's pretty much where yours is at, right? One ninety. Yeah, there's nothing wrong. Listen, there's nothing wrong with the factory shroud and a good clutch fan. You know, they do make some replacement blades, so I do, I do, I do want to preach the fact. Run some, you know, uh, you know, run a new blade if you're getting all cracked up and messed up. Um, they do have some pretty good remand clutch motors, like fans out there that are pretty good for the most part. So just make sure you route your water pump correctly. Because it's very easy to, to get the routing backwards and then your car overheats and then you're stuck changing head gaskets. So, uh, GM, start to watch the channel, just subscribe. Man, I appreciate you, GM. Welcome to the channel. We live stream every Sunday for the most part, uh, usually around 8 o'clock. We usually live stream in BS for about an hour, hour and a half and talk some Fox body shit. Excuse my French if somebody's uh, got family around. I tell you, it felt good going out there banging gears. Yeah, so shout out to Hanlon Motorsports, which you guys all know is my sponsor, one of my main sponsors on the channel. He got his little Coyote NA car out uh, this past, was it Saturday? What'd you, you ran pretty good too, didn't you? You can put your time in here. I won't say it. Slow. <laughs> I'm just kidding, dude. Uh, 650. Mine stays uh, way cold. 160 cruising, 190 in traffic. That's really good. That's really good. That's California, too. <clears throat> Is the heater tube outlet on an intake half-inch NPT? Are you talking about the um, yeah, the heater tube? I don't know. I think that's half-inch. It's not five. I don't think it's five. I think five-eighths is too big. It's a tapered hole, too, by the way. Don't be cranking down on that thing. Yeah, they don't perform like a stock fan. No, listen, the, if you buy a contour fan new, you're just you're, you're just wasting your money. You need to go to the junkyard. If you can get good used ones at the junkyard, get them. Or the Taurus fan. The Taurus fan's pretty badass. It's an 18-inch blade, and it's one big blade. And you can mount your – the nice thing about a Taurus fan is you can mount your – uh, your overflow bottle to the extra side of it. So it cools very well too. I have the LMR contour fans. Those are junk ones. I'm telling you, the dormant ones, don't even order them. <clears throat> those motors that are in the junkyard contour fans are proprietary for Ford. And there's a reason why they spin at 3,400 RPM. Chris Gordon. So I took the tube that ran to the back of the intake and cut it off the sensor in it and looped it back to the water pump. That's not a bad idea. Well, they make fittings. You can just pull the thing out, put a fitting in it. You know what I'm saying? They make fittings, well, the NPT fittings, where you can just 
put the sensor right in the hole. You see what I mean? I got sent to Bob Bang and stiff, uh, stick shift school yesterday. I messed up and used the clutch the first pass and got school. By... <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, <clears throat> Hanlon's Bob, Bob Hanlon. He'd be stepping out the car with some some white New Balances, ain't it? With them blue trim, the, 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 them special edition ones. It's like a tenth to your quarter. Eight sixty Fox. I run contour fans with a with a Volvo. Pimp XS that control the duty cycle. Nice. That's nice. <clears throat> what brand hood is that? I have same one on my SSP. Dude, I, I it's if you're talking about my white cars, it's just generic brand. It's nobody special. D Raleigh makes a badass fun setup. Okay. <clears throat> yep, we ran well. We only got to the eighth, but at first out, blowing the tires off, went 661 and eighth on 105. Woo! 105 is moving, bro. I think I trap what 120? 120 on my white car here? I don't know. I I, I want to say I got my my slips in the car somewhere. <clears throat> Neo, thank you for the two T5 videos you recently put out. Man, I appreciate you. Thank you. What your Taurus fan? Um in the 90s, Jason, uh, literally, it looks, uh, what year is that? Excuse me. I want to say that corral.net's got a junkyard link. Somebody help me out. Taurus fan, 94? Listen, they got multiple Taurus fans, too. I think they got one that's got three wires. It's got a low and a high setting. You see what I'm saying? I could use an 8793 timing cover, water pump, and clutch fan on a 94 motor. They're all different. Oh, wait. Could I use an 87 to 93 timing cover, water pump, and clutch fan on a 94 motor? Yeah, why not? I know that the 94, 90, 94 has their own specific front accessories, so you might want to check that first. Make sure he doesn't. Ne uh, Neo, how is that TKX holding up? I rev match, shift it without a clutch every time I take it out. Ain't broke yet. The jelly bean Tauruses? I think so. Yeah, we uh, rev match shift it. You guys know what you guys what you guys know about that rev matching. <laughs> I'm waiting for Hanlon to say something. Come on, Mark Eight fan pulls the um, was it Mark Eight pulls the most? You think? Chris, do you have an Instagram? Uh, okay, so. Oh, I did want to mention, okay, so Taurus fan, GT40 heads, and then 9697 Aerostar aluminum drive shafts are my junk car go-tos. Okay, so the the Aerostars have to be all-wheel drive, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, uh, Nate, nasty 88989, I'm pretty sure that the Aerostar has to be an all-wheel drive to have an aluminum drive shaft in it. Trying to stay thrifty, picked up a 302E7 for 45 on Facebook, 30 over, but the rear main wiped out. Rear main bearing wiped out. What do you do with it? Put another bearing in it and send it? That's an easy question. You know, sand it down a little bit, you know, get the high spots out, put another bearing in it, send it. Probably not double clutching like you should. Who? Me? Or are you talking to Hanlon? I have a, uh, I drive a semi, I, I ship like that all day, every day. That's right. Rev match shipping without a clutch. I did it, I started doing it on my T5 and my dad's car. I've been doing it on my T56. Like it just goes in gear. I mean, you don't have to use the clutch all the time, especially when you're daily driving. Dude, if you're just, whoa, you shift the second, you probably don't even need to use the clutch there. If you if you rev match it and it's kind of like a little skill you you kind of gain over the time you know it's it, it, you, you, drive, you drive your stick shift enough and not worry about breaking it you can literally ship these transmissions as long as they're full and fluid and they're maintenance 
and you know not really putting a load on it i mean there's like no load on it how's it gonna break <clears throat> send it that's right i do not uh, most of the media i have okay so where we at here we're about um, an hour and 25 minutes in um we got about five or six more minutes or whatever we're gonna stay on stay on the chat so if you guys got something you want to ask me you want to talk about something real quick before we leave um i do want to make another special shout out real quick to jason fields for the ten ten dollar super chat fox body newbie for the ten dollar super sticker my guy simon appreciate you joining the channel man again go check out sbftech.com lots of stuff there if you got questions you can literally just search in that if you're if you're new to the fox body and of course a big shout out to ford matt 77 on that 50 dollars donation to the channel man that's huge i appreciate you i appreciate you so um andrew i never missed mmff uh mustang muscle mustangs fast ford mag and went to ford fun events Man, I miss Ford Fun Events, man. We used to be able to get sponsored by Tremec and go there. And I remember the couple times that I went on the stick shift stuff only, you had a chance to win a T56. Man, I miss those days. Anyways, um, so back orders is bolt. We all know it. Um, it's something that we got to deal with at this point. Uh, Fox bodies, you know, they aren't going anywhere in prices, guys. Might be on a little bit of a bubble right now. They'll come down a little bit, maybe, maybe not. Uh, that doesn't mean that a parts car is worth five grand. Hell no. Um, it doesn't mean that your, you know, clapped out GT is worth nine. But one thing's for sure, uh, Fox bodies aren't really going anywhere. And we got to keep up. I mean, you guys see the Rescue Fox. I mean, that was a parts car to a lot of people. You guys watched that last video on Friday. So... You know, I, it's got black interior in it. I mean, it's worth a ton of money clean. It's a really good interior, but I mean, the car is clean enough. It's Ohio clean enough for me to literally just get the damn thing running, clean it up and send it, send it to somebody else. Cause that's where I'm at with my Fox body days. I'm not interested in cutting them up and, and scrapping them anymore. I'm not interested in parting them out for the most part i'm interested in and in getting them running and then you know there's money to be made putting them back together on my part but the point i'm trying to make is is you know get your fox bodies running you know i'm not going to do anything special to the rescue fox i will put some extra i got some extra subframe connectors that i cut off of other, other cars that were rotted um we'll, we'll put some subframes on it we'll clean up the wheels uh you know freshen up the paint a little bit as far as like, you know, just buffing it out a little bit, clean the interior real good. Cause I can't sell a car that's smells like shit. But we're just going to get it running and leave it to somebody else to kind of go through the Fox body rabbit hole that I've been through about 30 times, kind of baiting them, you know, it'll be a nice sounding car and running car. <laughs> Carlos, I appreciate the, uh, the, the super, super chat, man. I appreciate everybody, man. Make sure you check out that join button below too. You can be a club member. We get videos early. You get, uh, you know, I've been asking a lot of, you know, been asking for a lot of details lately in 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 my chat on on my uh, do a lot of blogging on the channel with the community. So you know, always always trying to, uh, you know, again, Troy Mason. I appreciate the super chat, guys. I appreciate the you guys doing this, man. You guys you guys don't have to. You know that. But I do appreciate it. Um, I was trying to get motivational there towards the end, just getting sidetracked here. So War Admiral says, Carlisle, swap me 20 to 24, 40, 80 plus acres. Yes. So when is that date, Tom? I think both of mine would qualify as parts cars at most, but they are going to be drivers, no show pieces. Yes. So if you didn't watch the video on Friday with uh, the, the Rescue Fox, that's kind of where I'm at with that car. Um, I, I literally just want to get the thing bolted back together. I'm going to pull that motor transmission out of that beat up convertible that I picked up, which is a big pilot. And you guys all know it. You've seen it in the videos. Got a really good running motor, though. So literally just pressure wash the shit, put it down in the red car, get it all tidy up, build my own little exhaust. And then, you know, 
just clean up the interior and sell it to somebody who's ready to go down the rabbit hole. You know what I mean? Who's ready to put heads or, 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 or gears in it. You know what I mean? It's already got 327s. You know what I mean? It wants to put control arms. You see what I mean? That's kind of where I'm at with that. <clears throat> Mine is not. Listen, my cars are far from show cars. However, I am getting the black car painted because I would like to have a really, really, really nice car that I can say that's pretty awesome. You know, my white car is not perfect. The paint doesn't really, I mean, they did really good matching it for the most part. They put the machine on it and got it close, but you can tell the difference. So April 20th and 24th, if you're all feeling thrifty, Carlisle PA, which is a really big swap meet, about a month from now, if you're looking for parts, looking for Fox Body Parts on the East Coast. Prices on Fox Body Parts, cars, rollers, rusted out claps are crazy. Yeah, and that's going to have to come down because, you know, some people are just going to be sitting on parts forever. You know what I mean? They're just going to be sitting on parts cars forever. You know, I'm always looking, like I got this crazy mindset that I'm always like, well, I got this one roller that needs that. So I'm always like, I'll get the parts, like that engine, the, the, the T5 I needed for something else. But that engine that we're going to pull apart on one of my videos is going to go for one of these cars on the side. So anyways, guys, <clears throat> I am going to start wrapping it up. Anybody got any uh, questions? Uh, Foxtoberfest, excuse me, Chocolate Fox, I will be out there for Chocolate Fox. I do got merch if you're looking for hats and T-shirts. I actually have a whole new line of T-shirts coming out with different logos, and it's going to have my cars on the back. Um, Neo Mustangs at Hotmail.com is the email. We haven't put the site out yet because I'm going to wait for the new merch to get here in two weeks so I can put that up too, and then I'm just going to put it all out at once. So I'm being lazy. I'm sorry. Um, but we will be going to Chocolate Fox. If you're headed there, I will have merch there. We're going to probably take the white car. We're going to be doing some videos on the white car. I know it's not a stock car. But we're going to be doing some stock stuff to it as far as stuff to look for on your stock Mustang or your modified Mustang. Because I went through kind of this little rabbit hole with this car and I want to show you guys this week. So um, big shout out to again to my donors, um, Jason, Newby, Simon, Ford, Troy and Carlos. Guys, I appreciate you guys uh, supporting the channel tonight. And uh, I want to do a big shout out to my club members in green. Um, I will see you guys soon in chat uh, this week. I think I'm going to release videos on s different days this week, like Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. I want to change up the schedule a little bit to see if it kind of changes up the, the the way the you know the YouTube algorithm for me. So you know, don't think I'm not posting anything. I'm still going to do some shorts this week. Got a couple shorts to do in race seasons among among us. So I'm going to be doing a lot of shorts on race season, showing you some cool cars out there in Northeast Ohio. So, anyways. It's great to have you guys. I appreciate everybody for joining us tonight. Um, I will see you in the videos this week. Thank you for joining. Happy Easter. And thank you so much for joining for on Easter. So be safe. See you soon.